talk to me, what can we expect? What kind of preparation does consumers go in? Sure. So we've been watching, Consumers Energy has been watching this potential weather event for the past several days. Uh, we've been having calls with meteorologists and getting our crews ready as we watch the intensity of the storm uh, or the severity of the storm intensify, intensify over the past couple of days. So what we're looking at right now is the storm coming into West Michigan around 3 p.m. or so. Um, and uh, we're concerned it could have um, it could bring devastating winds, wind gusts up to 70 miles an hour. When you're when you're seeing those kind of wind gusts at that speed, that's when you see trees uprooted, which can cause power lines to come down. It can cause structural damage. Um, we're also looking at uh, the potential for heavy rain and large hail and isolated tornadoes. So what we're doing at Consumers Energy is we are pre-staging our crews. We're getting them in the areas that we expect to be hardest hit. Grand Rapids to, is one of them. Um, we're also making sure that our trucks are stocked and we have the equipment needed to assist with any restoration efforts. How confident are, are you that people are going to lose power? Well, what we're watching with this severe weather forecast is, um, like I said, we're seeing wind gust at 70 miles an hour, which can cause uh, widespread damage. It looks like it's going to hit the lower half of the state, um, the lower half of the consumer's energy service territory. Um, so if there are power outages, if there is restoration work that's needed, our crews are going to be in those areas already. We have also we also have our mo mobile storm units red, uh, positioned and in place so that as soon as it's safe to do so, our crews can begin restoration work. What does your mobile storm unit do? Talk to me about that. Sure. So the mobile storm unit is basically like a localized headquarters um, where we have crews and leadership on the ground in a community that was hit hard by severe weather. Um, and what it does, it helps us to expedite restoration efforts. It allows us to see on the ground close up what that community is going through and what the dam what damage is there. Um, one reason that's helpful is because when a storm comes through, one of the first things we do is we need to assess the damage. We need to look at where the work is needed. And when we have a mobile storm unit in place, that allows us the opportunity um, to see firsthand up close the damage that we're going to be working to fix. Does it have generators or anything that can help people in the meantime? No, not 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 like that. Um, really, it it just helps expedite what the restoration efforts on the ground, what we're doing on the ground in terms of restoration, um, and make sure that we're able to restore power as quickly and as safely as possible to all of our impacted customers. It's straight line winds at seventy miles an hour. I mean, that's a the hefty uh, uh, task. Yeah, we expect mother we expect mother nature to uh to bring in some pretty severe weather to to West Michigan. And it's going to go through West Michigan into the mid-Michigan areas and then hit southeast Michigan. Um as we know, it's Michigan. So the weather ch can change very quickly. Um but what we want our customers to know is that we are preparing to make sure that if there is any restoration work that's needed, we're able to restore power as quickly as possible. Talk to me, how long do your crews work on days? Sorry, you cut out. What was the question, Julie? How long, how hard do these crews work on days like today? How many people do you have out there? So for this weather event, we have we're bringing about 300 total crews onto our system to assist with restoration efforts, and these crews are incredible. They are going to work around the clock um, through the night to make sure power is restored to every single customer. Um, and really, what these crews will be doing is they're going to be looking at the damage, so assessing the damage in different areas. They're going to be up in bucket trucks getting um, they're going to be replacing poles. These crews work 16 hour shifts. And so one of the safety messages we really want to stress to customers is if you see our crews on the side of the road over the next couple of days, please slow down, go around, give them space so that they can go home safely when power is restored. 
talk to me in the meantime what people can do to prepare for something like this. I know it's the standard protocol, but is there anything specifically with wind damage that people should be aware of? Well, with these 70 mile an hour wind gusts, there is a chance um, for power outages. And so customers should prepare in the event that they lose power. One of the things we recommend they do is put together an emergency kit. So in that emergency kit, have a flashlight, have extra batteries, have canned food, a can opener, um, uh, any medication that you might need. Have it all in one area so that you can easily get it instead of having to look around the house for these items um, in the event that you do lose power. Um, you should also make sure that um, your electronics are charged. So make sure your cell phones, laptops, if you have any portable battery chargers, make sure those are, are all charged and ready to go. And then if you do have a generator and you use a generator, it should never be used in an, in, in an enclosed space. So it should be used 20 feet away from any garage or a window to your house, anything like that to make sure that it is, um, it's used correctly and it's used safely. Great. Any areas besides Grand Rapids that you're considering, you know, high risk? Yep. So what we're uh, looking at with this weather event is really the lower half of Michigan's lower peninsula. So Grand Rapids, Lansing, Jackson, Ann, Ar Ann Arbor, and Detroit are all areas um, that could be impacted by this severe weather event. Not necessarily the lakeshore. There's going to be parts of the lakeshore over near Holland. Really what we are looking at in terms of the forecast is that um, areas north of really big rapids will be spared some of the worst of the storm. But like I said, this we all live in Michigan. We know that weather can change quickly. So it's best for customers to be prepared um, no matter where they're at. Perfect. Anything else you want to add? No, um, I just would say in terms of safety, if customers see a downed wire, which is a potential hazard after a huge wind event like the one we might see tonight, if you see a downed wire, we ask you to first call 911 and then call us at Consumers Energy at 1-800-477-5050 to report it and we'll go get it taken care of. All righty. Thank you so much. I'll stop recording.